Hello everyone, it's elite 4 yo here. Today we are going to look at temporal forces. We're going to take a look at what the pack pull rates are for the different rarities. And we'll do a little brief comparison uh, with it and the last few sets in terms of where exactly that value lies. Is temporal forces a good set to invest in? How are the pulls? Let's take a look right now. And we are starting off here by looking at the double rares, those EX cards that no one particularly likes and are typically worth about a dollar or two. And you are getting one in about every six packs for that. And there are 15 different ones in this set. So take that for what you will. But what we are kind of more interested in, I guess, is everything after that, right? Looking at the ultra rares, you have a one in 15 pack pull rate for those. And there are 18 of those here. And you get some decent ones, I guess, uh, for this. And uh, just pulling it up here, I'm kind of pricing it out on TCG Player. And you're kind of looking at the major legendary Pokemon that kind of make up the set and what interests it most. And you also get a bunch of uh, decent Pokemon. Gengar, Scizor here, not bad. Um, and you also get the Incineroar, so not bad on those. And those values kind of jump around a little bit. I think the Gengar is probably the most valuable one. Just pulling it up right here on TCG Player. Yeah, we're looking at about $12 for the Gengar card in the Ultra Rare. The Iron Crown is sitting at about $13. So that's pretty much what you can expect for pulling one of those. Now, we also get the uh, reintroduction of those Ace Spec Rare cards which are maybe the bane of some collector's existence if you don't particularly like those. Uh, however, that does not mean they don't have any value. They can be kind of useful uh, in terms of the actual game, and that's where they have value, right? Because you pull them in one in every 20 packs, so not that common. There are seven different ones on here, and the most expensive one, the Prime Catcher, actually goes for about 30 bucks. And I think the cheapest one is probably hovers around $10. So they definitely have value. Uh, definitely worth pulling. Yeah, I know it's not very exciting to pull them, but if you can sell them or trade them for something better, maybe one of the illustration rares, something like that, then you're, you're pretty much set. So not too bad, depending on how you feel about those cards. Then we get to the more interesting stuff, the illustration rares. You're pulling those one in every 13 packs, and there are 22 of those available and we look at some interesting ones but my personal favorite is the Metagross card. Metagross very very cool. I love the artwork in this. It looks like a continuation of the Glaceon card from Evolving Skies if you know which one I'm referring to and I really love it. So if I have a chase card for the illustration rares it's going to be this one right there and after that we're getting into the, the really good stuff, right? We are looking at those special illustration rare cards. One in every 86 packs. That's a hard pull. But to make up for that hard pull, you know, you're getting pretty good value out of them. There are 10 different ones. And you're, you know, looking at the major legendaries, of course. The six legendary Pokemon in this set. But this is where the value really lies for this. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the big chase card, if there is a big chase card in this set, uh, we're looking at the Iron Crown Pokemon sitting at about 100 bucks. That's pretty good for that card. Raging Bolt is about 75. Iron Leaves, which looks really cool, 61. Uh, Walking Wake, which I want, I love, um, sitting about $54. So yeah, of course, the, the set just hit a few days ago, so of course uh, values are sky high. Will it stay that way? Probably not, obviously. But that's pretty good for the special illustration rares, given um, their kind of difficult pull rates. So um, nothing too bad on there in regards to those cards. And then you get to the hyper rares, one in 139 packs. And you get six of these different ones, the six different legendary Pokemon featured here, the future and uh, the paradox Pokemon. And, you know, not a lot of value. Honestly, that's, that's kind of the way it is for these hyper rares, I guess. The most expensive one on TCG player coming in at about 15 bucks is the Iron Crown. 
And the other ones kind of hover relatively around there, give or take. Just bring it up on here. Iron Leaves sitting at about 11, 12. And Raging Bolt about 10, 11. So nothing crazy on there, which is sad since they're the, you know, the trickiest cards to get in this set. So that's what we're kind of looking at in terms of the rarities for this. Now, let's compare it to some of the previous sets. Let's try to get a sense of where it could sit value-wise. Pulling up Haldian Fates, which is a pretty good set. It's definitely one of the better ones in Scarlet and Violet, right? Because uh, you have those heavy hitter chase cards. I'm talking about that Charizard right there. Everyone loves that one. It's sitting at about $112. And then my personal favorite, the Mew EX card, Special Illustration Rare, sitting at about $75. Pretty good. Um, and the Gardevoir sitting at about $45 to $50 bucks on there. So the Paldean set is nice. Not just because it has a bunch of those chases for the Mew and the Charizard, um, but I also like it because of the different shiny Pokemon. I think those are highly collectible. People really seem to like to put those collections together. That's just what I've seen. So definitely a good value there. But then going back to the set before it, we're looking at Paradox Rift, which really just kind of came and went. You know, kind of sandwiched between 151 and Paldean Fates. That's kind of what's going to happen. And it's prices kind of show. Uh, it's right now Roaring Moon, Special Illustration Rare. It's the top card in the set, sitting at about $55 on there. And the second one, I guess the Iron Hands, is about $30, bucks. Spell il Special il Illustration Rare. And the Gold Dengo sitting a touch below $30. Bucks. So where will this Temporal Forces set sit, basically? Um, you know, is it as... I'm not going to say bad, but is it as, you know, maybe average as Paradox Rift? Maybe not as average as that. Uh, probably, probably a touch higher, I think. Um, but, you know, it's hard to judge when it's so early in the market. But I think these Pokemon are probably more desirable, um, the, these uh, Paradox Legendary Pokemon. So that's kind of what you're seeing on there for that. Overall, what do I think of the set, Temporal Forces? You know, it's an interesting set. It has the Ace spec cards, which bring up its value. That's kind of how it adjusts for the trickier pull rates. Um, no huge chase card. You know, you're not getting any of the crazy Charizards or anything like that. Um, although the Obsidian Flames kind of shows you that even that doesn't necessarily, you know, elevate the value. But overall, I think it's a pretty good set. Maybe a little above average to average, give or take. Um, you know, the special illustration cards are really, really nice. See how those prices kind of fluctuate over the coming weeks and months. Um, but in terms of collectability, you know, if you can get a good price on it, definitely, you know, worth indulging in. But, you know, you kind of have to question whether or not, you know, Walking Wake and Gouging Fire are going to have staying power for future collectors. You know, probably not. It just seems to be like the nostalgia factor is the big thing, right, for um, any of these sets. So that's what I have there on the Temporal Forces overall. Next up, going to open up what I have right here, a little booster bundle box. Going to take a look and see what my six packs can give me. Hopefully something a little better than the uh, Double Rare EX cards, but we'll see what we get. All righty, got the little box right here. Different design on these. Let's open it up, see if we can get anything interesting. I would really like the Metagross card or the Ghastly. That's kind of what I'm holding out for, if I'm holding out for anything. Um, it's going to be one of those. I'm not really expecting to get anything crazy. I mean, see how they did this? They really changed it up. This weird new design, I guess. The boxes will stand out a little more. Got our packs on here. Lay them out. Let's see what we can do. Can we get anything cool? I don't know. I haven't opened any of these yet. Let's see what we get on here. I'm not even really familiar with what the common cards are on here. So let's take a look. Ramblin', Rapperig, Rosalia, Cutafly, Bronzong, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. It's a mouthful. Iron Treads, Rescue Board, uh, P Dove, and okay, a Roaring Moon. Not too bad. That looks uh, pretty cool on there, I think. No, 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 no value, of course, but that's that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, just for our first card right there. Continuing on, let's see what we got. And if you have opened any of these yourselves, 
How are you finding this set? Anything good? Got some Pokemon you like? If you pulled anything? Whoa, this is a cool card. Wiglet. I love this one. I love Melton. Seedot. Lycanroc. Salvatore. Palafin. A reverse Toracat on here. And a Litten. Let's see if we get the Incineroar to complete the set. Oh, we, but we do get a Hollow Mel Metal on there. Not bad. Nothing just yet, kind of the way I figure it, right? It's the way it goes, but I have heard some people getting some pretty nice luck on this, even though the pack pulls are much harder, seemingly, according to the data that I've seen online. Anyway, Turtwig, Metagross, there's Metagross. Roserade, Excadrill, there's the Mel Metal. Ooh, nice little reverse Pikachu on there. Okay. Ah, we got the Raging Bolt, a double rare EX card right there. So we have pulled in approximately $2 of value so far. Not too bad for having spent, uh, I don't remember how much this was, I think it was 27 28 Let's see, We're halfway through, Totodile. That's a cute Totodile card. Deerling, Pidove, Beldum. Screen Tail, Heavy Baton, Iron Valiant, that's pretty cool, nice. Drillbur, Cutifly, and a Relicanth. I actually really like Relicanth. Not a particularly good Pokemon, but I am a fan. I'll say it proudly. A fan of Relicanth. And I think I even have the shiny Relicanth card from, uh... oh boy, is that one of the plasma sets? I have the shiny uh, Shinx from those old sets. It's kind of hard for me to remember which one the Relicanth was from. But, uh, you know, not, not bad. Let's see. Two packs left to go. Can we get anything good? Ponyta right there. Uh, let the buzz reverse. Come on. Come on. Let's get something. Okay. Iron Thorns Hollow right there. So we're not exactly getting anything uh, to write home about. But we are on our last pack right here. Let's see if we can get anything. I mean, right now, I am pulling the odds. Well, I have opened my five packs here, and I have the one double rare. So everything is going according to plan, <laughs> according to what the uh, polls rates say, which is not looking to be too in my favor, unfortunately. So last pack on here. Let's see what we can do. Relor and Ponyta again. Chadot. Buddy Buddy Puffin, which I've heard is a pretty, uh, very useful card in the actual card game. So that is one to kind of take a look at. Sharpedo, Vika Volt, come on. No, wow, not even an illustration rare. Well, that sucks. Can I get something? Okay, so I did get Iron Crown. That's not too bad. In the Iron Crown pack. So I think I kind of beat the odds, I guess. If you're looking at it in terms of uh, you know, what the odds are of pulling anything great, this probably falls within the mean, I would imagine. Which is to say, I probably got about, I don't know how exactly how much the Iron uh, Crown one goes for, but probably looking at it at about 5 10 bucks in value overall with all of these, maybe. So, that's what I got here today for the Temporal Forces set. Pretty cool set. I definitely like it. I didn't get anything good. Hopefully you get something better. Have a great day. Elite4Yo here. Like, subscribe, and I hope to see you again. Take care.